Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good start to your morning. In today's video, I would like to answer a very, very quick question from one of the users of the channel. His name is Vlad, and he has a question kind of revolving around whether or not he should take an online bootcamp or a physical real world bootcamp. So let me quickly read off his question right here. He says that, my name is Vlad, I am from Romania, uh, but currently living in the United Kingdom and working in a warehouse, which is pretty boring. I want to change my career path and get into iOS development. Uh, I started to study only at Coursera, uh, bought your basic course, which you can find a link to down in the description below. And he says that the course explains some good concepts. I'm watching your videos and now I'm thinking to attend a bootcamp, so good job. And his question is, should I take an online bootcamp like uh, Career Foundry or should I save more money and attend an in-person bootcamp like the one that you can find at Lighthouse Labs? And he says, can you give me some advice? Which type of bootcamp should I take? And what bootcamp would you recommend? Okay, so this is a very, very good question, Vlad. And let me try to answer this question by first kind of telling you what the purpose of these bootcamps are. And the ultimate goal of a bootcamp is to kind of get yourself ready to start applying for jobs, perhaps in the iOS market in your case, right? And what I mean when I say being ready is to kind of have a respectable portfolio along with one or two apps that you've published through the uh, Apple App Store. And the reason why uh, employers think that it's very important to kind of do this is because uh, they know how much hard work is involved in uh, building out a meaningful application. And they also know the kind of process that you have to go through to submit your applications to the Apple App Store. So with that in mind, a lot of these bootcamps, whether it be online or in person, should be able to fulfill these requirements pretty easily as long as you are willing to put in the effort and time to make sure that you kind of go through the entire process. Okay, so having taught a physical bootcamp in San Francisco and also building out these online courses, let me try to answer your question by giving you my thoughts on the advantages of an online bootcamp versus a in-person real-life bootcamp right now. Okay, so one major advantage that I notice about online courses and online bootcamps is that some students are actually excellent learners on their own. And personally, I find myself learning a lot more when I'm building out projects uh, on my own rather than working with other people. That's just me. And for example, when you're at a physical bootcamp, you'll find that some people actually don't know exactly what a UI view controller is, no matter how many times you explain it to them. Or, you know, sometimes uh, students will not know how to execute a for loop or even how to properly perform a stack overflow search uh, to an easy UI kit problem. And at an online bootcamp, you are allowed to kind of proceed at your own pace, which means that you can quickly go through the entire curriculum as fast as you can without the fear of anyone holding you back. But having said that, I think one major advantage of an actual physical real world bootcamp is that when you're working by yourself all the time, it does get a little boring. Uh, I think isolation is probably one of the worst feelings you'll have during a like super, super long project. I think being physically, physically there at a bootcamp where you kind of see other students experiencing the same struggles that you're experiencing is probably one of the best environments for learning. I think you also find that you can swap ideas much more kind of easily at a physical location. And furthermore, and what I find is that spontaneous group conversations are actually really engaging whenever they come up. Okay, so let's talk about another major advantage to an online bootcamp. And with the way things are set up with online bootcamps, they can usually provide you with kind of a dedicated mentor to answer your development questions throughout the entire bootcamp process. And at a physical bootcamp, like a real world bootcamp, you'll find that this is typically not the case due to so many students that are actually studying at that physical location. And moreover, uh, trying to get help after hours, uh, whether or not you're you know, experiencing an iOS problem or some kind of Xcode issue, you'll find that it's very difficult to kind of access a mentor or even talk to an instructor after hours uh, because they actually don't get paid after 5 p.m. Okay, so having a dedicated mentor at an online bootcamp is super helpful. They'll be able to answer all of your emails and perhaps even have a online Skype session with you to solve whatever you know problems you are experiencing. 
However, you'll find that at a physical boot camp, uh, communicating your needs and kind of solving your problems in person with an instructor real time is something that's irreplaceable. For example, uh, debugging why objects are nil, figuring out auto layout constraint warnings, or even explaining the life cycle of a UI view controller is much, much easier to do so in person. Uh, having said that, there are a lot of other lessons that are actually, I think, taught better through a video lesson, but nonetheless, getting real-time feedback with your laptop in front of an instructor and actually pointing your finger to the actual screen is something that is super, super helpful. Okay, so those are kind of my thoughts on online boot camps versus uh, physical real-world boot camps. I think ultimately though, uh, if you are someone that is able to kind of learn by yourself by Google searching things on your own, you might find that online boot camps are a better option for you. However, if you actually enjoy the company of others and if you find yourself learning better with other people around you, I would probably recommend you attend a physical boot camp. All right, that's gonna be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.